So, gate is down for main event number one. Let's see who gets the whole shot here. It's a 15-minute moto. So it looks like Steez with the Bud Racing Honda team gets a good start early with Hayden Willis in tow. And Wheels, our series points leader on the FXR Kawasaki. Hayden goes down after the berm just before the Dragon's back, causes a huge pileup. Wheels is the first victim of it, but gets back up cleanly. So Steez is going to get a little bit of a gap here, but Wheels still isn't too far behind. Victor on the Horizon Racing Honda is in third. David on the BTR Kawasaki in fourth. And Panda with the NSG Yamaha is in fifth. So much happening here so early. It is a stacked lobby. So we will see. So let's take it down real quick. Go back on board uh, with our leader here. Steve's in first. Wheels is still in second. Victor's still in third. David's still in fourth. And Panda's still in fifth. So no, no upsets yet to the positions. Oh, Panda goes down and goes over the berm. He might have just... Okay, he didn't... Never mind, he didn't. That's just a bug. I thought he went over the berm and his game crashed. Steve's trying to get a run through that whoop section. Messes it up, but stays up on two wheels clean. So that's what's most important. Something happened to wheels. Um, or David has caught up, one of the two. So this is our battle for third place. And David might be taking the position away. So let's see here. Nabo might still be sinking. Ah, I, all right. I'm, I am in and camera is working. Cool. All right. So Steez looks like he is still in first, but he is already into lap traffic here. He's got Lemunian in front of him. He's passed Luca through the whoops. So as we come across the finish line, timing and scoring will begin to update for all of the riders who are following him. Victor in second, David in third. A lot of lap traffic here. Gerb's making the pass on David now through the triple, triple, triple section. David gets caught up into Luca, which gives Gerb the clean run to get by and secure that third place position. Clean run through the Dragon's back. And a quad out. Gerb knows what he's doing. Okay, here we go, guys. Steez, Gerb, and Victor are bar to bar right now for a third or for the uh, the lead. Gerb ends up capitalizing on some mistakes and takes it away. Steez almost gets in with Victor, but keeps it up. Takes second place. Man, Steez is in full control of that bike. Uh, it's trying to kick him off and buck him around, but he kept it up on two wheels. So Gerb has taken the lead here. Steez has fallen back to second. Let's see if Steez can catch up. Does hit the triple-triple section cleanly. Almost goes down to Lemunion in that corner, but keeps it up. Let's go back and try to find where is Victor. Victor is just now exiting the triple triple section. Man, there is so much lap traffic here that really anything can happen. Oh no, Wheels goes down. So let's see here. Uh, look, I, he, Wheels kept it up. He did a we're in X Games mode confirmed over here. Did a front flip <laughs> and kept it going. Looked like he went down, but he's in X Games mode. So. All right, so where is Gerb? Gerb is hitting the triple-triple section currently. Our second-place rider, Steez, is still in tow, so about a section behind Gerb. But if Gerb makes a mistake, Steez will be there very quickly to capitalize. It's a good run through that section. Man, some of these guys just all across this field, I mean, qualifying for this event is impressive in and of itself. Let's see here. Something happened to Victor, and he goes down after that berm. He might have launched over uh, the wall. He is just not having good luck right now trying to get it back on the track. That concrete is slippery. So in timing and scoring updates in just a moment, I have a feeling that Victor will not be in third, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like the third place position is going to go to 
Moreno. David is physically in third, but but uh, has cuts, it looks like. So, so this is a three-way battle here uh, between Marco, David, and Moreno for the third place position. David gets a cleaner run through that section and makes the pass on Moreno. Now they are bar to bar coming through the Dragon's back. David hits a little cleaner, gets the quad, <clears throat> getting by Rye. So Marco and Moreno are battling it for fourth here. I mean, David's still right there. They still have him in his sights. If David makes a mistake, it's game over, especially in these whoop sections. So gets through it clean. Oh, no, Marco might have gotten into Rye trying to make the pass. Moreno makes a... Uh, Moreno goes down because of that, so all four of these riders here, including Aiden, who's trying to get through cleanly, uh, are not able to. So Moreno uh, corrects it, though, gets back on the bike quickly and back on the throttle. So we'll see if he can still make a push for David. Navo, I don't know if you want to keep close eye on Gerb and Steez. Um, Steez was about two and a half seconds back at the end of the last lap. If Gerb makes I a mistake. Do um, that. Little boom box, little boom box is coming up here to, to watch some supercross action. So Moreno is like in, entering the whoop section now. And it looked like Steve's was making a big run on Gerb in the triple in the triples rhythm, but goes down on the first one. Gerb's really extending his lead out now. Yeah, Gerb is in the following corner here. Steez is about two riders back through lap traffic. So we'll check in. So Moreno has made up some time on David um, in that double, triple, triple section. Got him within his sights. Moreno is just waiting on David to make a mistake so he can capitalize. Again, so David's going to cross the finish line here, and timing and scoring is going to put him in third. But when Moreno crosses, it's going to move him up to third because of cuts. So if David wants to overcome Moreno and finish oh, in wait. third. Gerb goes down. Steez is going to take the lead. There it is. Gerb goes down just before the Dragon's back. Oh, Steez goes down after that section. So even though he made the pass, Gerb is right here with him still. So new race leader, guys. Steez on the Bud Racing Honda. Gerb is not going to want to let that go. Gets a little wobbly before the triple and still tries to send it and goes down. So he's going to have to go around these tough blocks to get back on track. He should still maintain his second place position, but the third place rider, David and uh, Victor and Moreno, are right here. So that mistake keeps Gerb in second but costs him critical time. And now he has got a train of riders behind him who are pushing up for his second place spot. Gerb goes down again in the triple section and gives it up to David. Victor goes down after, or else he would have moved up into third. So he's trying to get back up on the bike cleanly. David making the best of the situation that he can in that Dragon's back section. Let's go on board a little closer here and see what Gerb can do to catch up. Like he might be a little bit faster than David in that in that whoop section. Let's see what he can do here uh, in our first rhythm lane as we start the new lap. Not able to triple, does get the double after though cleanly, so David creates a little bit more space. Let's try to check in with him. So he has got himself a comfortable gap. Yeah, just crossing the finish line, going across the start stretch into that sand section now. Moreno is going to come across the finish line here in fourth. Wheels in fifth. So Gerb is still on the hunt for David here. He's not letting him go. Oh, no, the commentator's curse. We went to Gerb, and he crashes at the end of that triple-triple section. 
look at this lap traffic that they are about to come through. This is wild. And Steez just went through, what, and five riders? Yeah, something like that. Uh, right before that Dragon's back, he got caught up into some lap traffic and went down. So David is now starting to make up some good time on him. What happened to Gerb? Something must have happened to Gerb and he went down because David now has a much bigger gap and is sitting in second cleanly. Hits the triple triple, makes it through, connects with Rye, goes down. So here we go. Steez is going to have to get through another set of lappers here. That's the price you pay to be so quick. He is. He makes it through cleanly because they crash. So he kind of lucked out on that one. Gerb is right back on David, though. And here's a rider that we haven't spoke much about in this race who has moved his way up through the pack. Dad shoes on the McMonster Kawasaki. He must, uh, he must be on the 250 today because I don't have his skins um, installed. But So Dad shoes has moved up and taken the third place position away from Gerb and is now making a run for David. Dad shoes comes out of the back of the pack nowhere with the freaking thrusters turned on and is trying to make a run for first or for second rather. I'm sure he'll want first and he's going to go after Steeds, but he's got to get around David first. Gets a much better run through that triple-triple section, takes the inside line clean, takes the pass away from David. So we have a new second-place rider here on the McMonster Kawasaki uh, with David on the BTR Kawasaki in third, and Gerb is still right here. So Gerb knows he belongs up front, knows that he can maintain that position, so he's just got to get back on the gas, uh, find, some, find some speed somewhere, figure out where he's faster than David, um, and then try to make a pass. David's got to not look behind him not worry about what's happening on the rest of the track, ride his own race, and catch back up to Dad Shoes. Um, but currently, he's, he does sit in our final podium position. Dad Shoes has cuts, it appears, because, because according to timing and scoring, he's in third, although physically we know he is in second. So if Gerb pushes David and David closes the gap on Dad Shoes, um, then then the timing and uh, and cutting of that of dad shoes currently could result um, in a fourth place finish so he's got to put a gap between himself and David if he wants to uh, make up that that loss of time but dad shoes has really got the thrusters on he is only just a couple seconds behind Steve's as they both cross the finish yep six seconds down according to timing and scoring but but that's again with the cut so he's probably about one second back so yeah, as you can see, they're in the same rhythm lane here. So Dad Shoes is on it, man. He's found another gear. He's got the VP Racing Fuel. Oh, Steez oh, goes, goes down. Oh man, so we have a new race leader here, guys. Dad Shoes on the McMonster Kawasaki makes the pass for Steez. These guys battle it out every week in PDMX, the Aerial SX Series. And now they've come to bring these battles to the CC Supercross races on Saturday. Steve's not able to get the clear on that triple, so he does go down as well. So let's see where Dad Shoes cuts put him. I think he's going to put him back to second by, by one second. So he is four seconds ahead of Steve's at the end of that lap, but his five-second cuts pull him back. So we've still got David in third, and Gerb has fallen back a little bit further than he wants to. So going to be in fourth so let's go back up here to our battle for the lead um, between Steez and Dad Shoes and figure out just exactly where he is as he tries to battle up through lap traffic here so this is what Steez needs Steez needs Dad Shoes to get caught up in some lap traffic and so he has enough oh no 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 Steez goes down in this corner um, Steez is the one who's getting caught up in lap traffic so this is good news for Dad Shoes just looks like Dad Shoes has just found a whole nother level. He is checking out in the lead currently. Of course, I say that he goes down in the triple triple section.
Alright, so it's going to be cutting it close, but Dad Shoes may get the white flag here. Um, unless it's plus two. Yep, it is plus two. That was close. He crossed that finish line at zero seconds on the clock. So he has got a pretty big gap uh, between himself and Steez here. It's going to be hard for Steez to overcome, but again, guys, this is a two-moto format. So as soon as this race is done, we will have a second moto uh, that will start very quickly after. So why is... So did David physically move up into second? He did, and according to timing and scoring, he did as well. So maybe the accident that Steez had in this corner a few laps ago cost him that position, and David on the BTR Kawasaki uh, has now moved up into second place. He's got to get around Panda here. Got a couple lappers in front of him. The white flag is out for our race leader. David comes across the finish line seven seconds back. Uh, but again, Dad Shoes has, has some cuts, so he's going to be more like 13 seconds back, I think. Not sure. Dad Shoes is two full rhythm lanes ahead of him, so. Steez is right here. Steez doesn't want to let David go. Third place. Oh, and David does go down after that rhythm section. That's exactly what happened to Steez uh, in round two of Ariel, and so Steez has kind of learned from those mistakes. Doesn't want to make him again, and now he's moved up into second cleanly, so that does push David back to third officially. So our and race Dad leader, Dad Shoes. Sorry, go ahead. He crosses, no, he crosses the finish line. The first moto will go to him with some extra time left over, even with all those cuts. Yep. Steez in second. And David on the BTR Kawasaki will round out our top three. So let's go back here and take a look. Here is Gerb, who was in fourth place at the end of the last lap. With Victor close behind him, but not close enough to challenge the position in the final lane. So Gerb in fourth, and Victor rounds out our top five. Looks like our, our current series points leader, Wheels, will finish in sixth in this race. more riders who are wrapping up here. I, th I think my kid is a Dad Shoes fan. As soon as we started talking about Dad Shoes taking the lead, he just came out in his little walker, dude. He was just booking it. He was shifting gears in his little walker, just screaming. Need to get like a baby emote. Alright guys, so give me one second here while we wait for uh, the race 2 to begin. 